Hey, what's going on guys? I went to a really, really cool place. I went to Novi, Michigan for a work-related trip. And while I was there, I found a very cool game store. When I walked into this place, it felt very small until you round the corner and then it just like keeps going it, and keeps going. So without further ado, I want you to hear about and check out this really cool game store I found on my fun trip to Novi, Michigan. So this spot is called Retro Taku Video Games and they sell it all. Uh, clearly it states so on the on the window there, but when you walk in, you know, it, I got a little confused because right when you walk in, you see a bunch of controllers and accessories and usually this kind of stuff's behind the counter to save space. So I'm looking around, I'm like, man, you know, there's some neat stuff here. There's some Amiibos, there's some Retro Fighter stuff, there's some I Am 8-Bit stuff, uh, all sorts of things. Um, import and non-import, um, name brand, not name brand, um, all sorts of things. And like I said, usually this kind of stuff is behind the counter, um, you know, to, to save room. So I kind of do a brief look around. I'm like, man, maybe this shop is is a little smaller than I, you know, than I anticipated. Because I was told to come here by some friends. They're like, hey, you should check this spot out. Um, but, you know, I was going around and I saw some really cool, like, first party and used accessories that are very useful. You know, coax stuff or, or what have you. And uh, four ways for Nintendo and Super Nintendo. Um, you know, they have all the big slew of like cables and things. They had a small section of like some long box stuff, some Sega Saturn. Uh, you know, nothing really was jumping out too much. So I was like, okay, let me check out the case. The case had some neat stuff, some handhelds, um, Game Boys, Game Gears, uh, all sorts of things. Some of their merch, some of those Retron consoles. But then you start looking at all the games like, man, check it out. You know, a ton of Switch games, right? A lot of Switch games here, a lot of Switch games on the back wall. You got the some stuff in the case, got a bunch of NES, got some cool Tiger Electronic style handhelds, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, Game Gear. I mean, there's a lot of stuff here, you know, all the handheld games. Um, and they had some rare stuff as well, so pretty good variety. I was like, man, this is a, this is a pretty, pretty good spot here. You know, you got your Sega, you got all your classic retro stuff, you had a bunch of Switch stuff. Um, some amiibos, some cool, like those, those sodas from Final Fantasy, I have one of those. Um, it was just kind of neat to see, uh, you know, a combination of some really good stuff on the wall, some really good stuff in the case, some limited run stuff, just a little bit of everything. Some 360, some Xbox, some PS4, PS5, a lot, of, and this is like all the new stuff, so, you know, I was like, alright, well, you know, pretty good variety, pretty good variety for this small shop. They fit a lot of stuff in here. Um, and I did not think that, uh, that, that there would be more, right? I mean, you, you look around, you, pretty much every major console is covered here, um, like, I, like I have shown. Um, and then I noticed this arrow on the ground, and I'm like, what's going on here? And it just keeps going, right? So I didn't realize that was all new behind the counter. This is all used, so you have a huge wall of some, some rare collector's edition stuff, uh, new or used. A whole bunch of Xbox One, PS4, PS5, and then guides. But next to the guides was two more cases of straight up rare gold. I mean, all sorts of stuff. Figures from collector's editions, um, rare games, sealed games, rare controllers, super rare controllers, uh, Japanese imports, some stuff rare, some stuff not. Um, I mean, all sorts of stuff. And this stuff in the case is just quite frankly amazing i mean i saw some stuff in here that i'd never seen before uh mostly because a lot of the stuff was imported but you know i definitely want to come back here with a fine tooth comb and hit up uh some of this famicom stuff because i have a famicom and there's a lot of games that we missed that are really cool and really inexpensive uh, also my you know 64 is region free so I'm ready to check the, some of those games out too. But I mean, over here, you got some rare Sega CD, Sega Saturn, Dreamcast games, um, you know, some really cool limited run stuff. There's just a ton, a ton going through this. Um, I mean, I, I saw stuff in here. They had like two copies of Einhander, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, but other than that, just some really good rare stuff, all priced very reasonably. Nothing, you know, out of the ordinary, but uh, you know, if you thought that this was it, right, the cases and, um, you know, what was going on in that other room, I swear this, this, 
this place gets more and more crazy. So uh, I'm, I'm going to finish wrapping up here on this main shelf. You know, someone obviously turned in all the Digimon World games, which is pretty cool. There's those two copies of Einhander I was talking about. Um, but I mean, after after this, you know, they had some collector's editions, some limited run stuff. Um, I thought that there really wasn't much more to this place. I'm like, man, you had the big room, the main room, and then, you know, their big wall of consoles. So they have box consoles, kind of like a, like a little quick pick one up kind of set, tested, controller everything, little gotcha machine, um, some cool rare controllers. But then it's like it never stopped. So, you know, you, you go past all the consoles and then over here it's like more PS3 games. So many PS3 games. It's like, all right. And then I noticed there's a hallway. And the hallway had PlayStation games. A ton of PlayStation and Switch games. Some of them were actually case and manual only, so you could like fill out your copies. But then you got the PS2. And the PS2 section is large. I mean, like, look, it just keeps going. Like, this is all PS2. This whole wall is PS2. Keeps, keeps going. Then on the other side of this gigantic PS2 monolith, uh, which I swear to God feels like it never ends. You have PSP games and a lot of PSP games. And it's a mix of English and Japanese. Then you have a whole ton of GameCube games. It just never ends. A whole wall of Wii games. A huge back wall of 360 games. Uh, I mean, Wii and Wii U. There was, wasn't much Wii U, but then again, the Wii U doesn't have a very big library anyway. But I mean, this whole big wall of 360 games. I was like, man. What the heck? I mean, they had all sorts of stuff. All sorts of stuff you could think of is here. On the other side, original Xbox games. Solid, I mean, like, floor-to-ceiling games in this place. And then that just leaves this last middle section. And this middle section here is essentially all their handheld and Wii stuff. So they have a bunch of Wii stuff. Um, they have some Blu-rays and DVDs. But also some boxed Famicom, boxed Super Famicom... Uh, boxed Mega Drive, all Japanese, of course. Um, then they have like DS and uh, more PSP, DS, 3DS, um, Sega Saturn imports. I mean, it's just, it's huge. This place is massive. It is such a cool game store. If you are in the Novi area, like I said, you have to come here. You have to check it out. So, what did you guys think? I hope you liked it as much as I did. Uh, and thanks again, guys, for really letting me uh, film in there. I know uh, some places don't uh, want you to do that, uh, and you guys were extremely accommodating. Um, but, you know, on the whole, it was a very great time, very cool trip, very cool store. But, hey, for y'all watching at home, let me know what you think down below. Uh, let me know if you're from the area or maybe gone there yourself, because I'll tell you, it's a, pl it's a spot that I really, you know, have, have I will visit again next time I'm in the area. That's going to do it for us today, guys. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you haven't, please do. It'd be super duper cool. But as always, my friends, take it easy.